Hello everybody listening around the world to this hot podcast right here, we call it Smooth Traffic. I'm Johnny Edge and with me is Sir Bobbit of King. Hello. And Sir Benley Benley. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So uh, on this episode, uh, we're going to talk about some cars I've driven. 30 second reviews, going to be a little bit about that. The Crisps are back. Now, I know everyone's been waiting for this, but the Crisps are back. The Crisp Champions League first knockout stage is here. Um, There's going to be a quiz because Ben started doing quizzes now. And uh, we're (laughs) probably going to have to uh, put some toner in the fax machine because I hear something coming through. Oh, oh, wait. And... There'll be no catchphrases in this podcast. Oh no, not on my watch. <laughs> so, Johnny, as per usual, you've probably driven some cars since the last episode that we recorded. You know it, homie. Many months ago. Yeah. So it's time for some 30 second reviews. Are you up for the challenge? I feel your dog. Cool. What's happening? <laughs> I think he's trying to be down with the youths of today. Oh, yeah. It ain't working. You know it, player. So. Johnny, first up, I understand that you've driven the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Yes. Your 30 seconds will begin when Ben starts his timer. And that is now. Well, the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross is really, really cool because it's comfortable, it's stylish, it has a good engine, and it's got lots of decent kit. The problem is, that engine, while it's good, does no MPG at all. None. I actually, whilst testing it, recorded minus 21 MPG. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well I may as well have because it did about 33 if I really pushed it and it just makes me think is this what we're giving up diesels for? petrol engines doing 33 mpg stop. in a fairly small car no you stop now no you're done tough mm, tricky obviously a little bit out of uh, practice there John keeping it to 30 seconds well yeah Obviously, yeah, it's because right. the cars that you've reviewed previously have all, all been fairly good and you've had positive things to say. Whereas once yeah. you get onto a negative rant, it's quite difficult to stop yourself, isn't it? Yeah, I get. it's, it's like running downhill. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so uh, next up is the uh, <laughs> Volvo XC60. Over to you, Ben. Try and be a bit more concise with this one. All right, three, two, one, go. You know Ben's face? Yeah. No hairs on it at all. In, incapable of growing a beard. The Volvo XC60 is like that. It's just smooth. <laughs> Everything about it is smooth. Beautiful interior, beautiful design, light steering, relaxing gearbox, comfortable suspension. It's like driving Ben's face. If you could find it and you could drive it, that's exactly what it would be like. Lovely car. Absolutely love it. But I only drove it for about half an hour, so I haven't got much more to say. But yeah, Ben's face. Stop. Wow. Perfect. I mean, I'm impressed you could find it if it was like Ben's face, but <laughs> you know, obviously it wasn't exactly like Ben's face. Yep. What, what did I call Ben's face earlier? Something um, like a... Oh, yeah. Like a rough-drawn circle on MS Paint. Oh, no. You said it was like an egg, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but on a bleached egg. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Well, it's important right. that we're all nice to each other, Ben. Where's his face gone? Uh, a roughly-drawn MS Paint freehand circle on a bleached egg. <laughs> yep. Direct quote. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Anyway, if only right. I could write that good in my reviews, eh? Yeah. Um, John, I understand that there's a third car, but I don't have it written down. That's fine. Three, two, one, go. So, uh, the third car isn't a car, it's a whiskey I've ordered in the post uh, from <laughs> Master of Malt. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be here next week, so you hear about it on the next episode. It's a, a Glen Morangi Quinta Reuben, which is uh, aged for two extra years in port casks. Ooh. How about that? So, King, I've got you in mind for this one, yeah. And it's uh, it's meant to be very, very good. So, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be on the next episode of Smooth Traffic, if you like whiskies. No way. Time. <laughs> Look at that. Bang. I was nearly bang on 30 seconds again. You were nearly bang on 30 seconds. And I'm, and I'm not even timing it. This is how good I am. Yeah. So your review was of something that you might have in your hands. Yeah. So your review was a preview. Yeah, preview. So you did yeah. a 30-second preview. Preview, yeah. Yep. No, there's there's a word for it. It's called preview. A preview, yeah. Yeah. I nailed that. <laughs> well, anyway, so uh, is is that everything you've got then, John? Uh, no, I've got one more. Mm, I'm hesitant to let you proceed with this. That's because I haven't got one more. Do you have anything else? Lying. Yeah, no, there just, we go. Just, just lying. Good. Thank you for that, Johnny. It was 
insightful as ever. Vaguely. <laughs> yeah. So, one car's like my face, the other one hasn't got very good MPG. Yep. And, you're and the other one's a whiskey that he hasn't had yet. <laughs> yeah, I've bought a whiskey. I'm quite looking forward to that. To be honest, I'm looking forward to that more than the cars at the moment. So, yeah. maybe 30 second whiskey reviews are the new thing. Maybe I should just start talking about whiskey instead of cars. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe not. We interrupt this podcast for an important political message from Sir Robert of King. <laughs> King, take the stand. I'm mixing up this with all sorts of things. I, I can Law, see that. Uh, this this isn't this isn't an important political message. And it's live. <laughs> it's not live. I mean, it's live it's, at the time that now. we're recording it, but when people listen yeah. to it, it's not live. Yeah. But they broadcasts know that. are live. No, it is live. <laughs> They're listening to us live right now. I've got a problem, lads. Do you want me to buy you some cream? I'm taking issue with this recent snowy weather that we've had. Bloody snow! But more importantly, I'm taking issue with drivers. I'm pretty sure that I've ranted about this before on here. But why is it so hard for people to actually clean their car off before they get in the car and fucking drive anywhere? I think I we have talked about this. So do we you have just no, sort of like... no, we have talked about this, and it still gets on my fucking last nerves because year people and just still. Take that segment. No, no, no. I'm not going to refer back to the relevant episode for people to go back and listen. <laughs> You're going to listen to it now. No, don't tell them. Nobody just cut goes it back it. to listen, Ben. You should know that. <laughs> ben. Who listens in the first place? People need to yeah, ben. clean snow off their cars, and they need to clear the windscreen before they go out, rather than just a little a little gap that they can see through. Now, I've actually got anecdotal evidence that uh, people are being pulled over by the police this year, which is a massive step forward. But still, yeah. yesterday, I was driving on the motorway. Several cars came past me with a good, probably two or three inches of snow on top of the cars. And obviously, because they're doing that speed, it's just coming off in big, big clumps. And, you know, if anyone's close to that, it's going straight on the windscreen. It only takes a second for someone to make, a, make an accident happen. Yeah. It is a problem, though. I have to agree. It's this, and people drive fractionally slower sometimes, mm. but not always. You know, they don't. They don't seem to understand that they lose that much traction. In fact, the biggest issue I have these days is the people that have a four by four, so they assume therefore they're invincible and can yep. go at any speed, even though they've probably got a car that weighs fifty percent more than their other car. Without even, winter tires, without winter tires, all that sort of shit. And then the worst type are the ones that have got SUVs that think it's a 4x4 because it's just a bit bigger. So yeah. they drive like hoodlums. Where it's actually just a front-wheel drive hatchback yeah. on stilts. Basically. Exactly. Those people are the worst people. I think that's been proven. They're worse than Saddam Hussein was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, I see far too many of that. Good to know we're making topical references, as always. <laughs> um, yes, so it, it just annoys me. Like The advice is always to plan extra time for your journeys in in harsh weather conditions and you know people may well allow an extra half an hour or whatever but nobody allows time to actually clear their car off before they before they get going i think what we should say is if you haven't cleared your car you're not planning for your journey exactly you're planning for your death Ooh, catchy yeah let's call Tyler. highways england and see if they uh, they want to buy that slogan <laughs> highway to hell <laughs> no may- maybe they won't go with that Death drive. <laughs> keep trying. No, don't keep trying. <laughs> Sorry, yes, no. So, yes, so, so this is a public service message from me to you, our three listeners. Clear your cars off when you're on the road. And if you already do that, if you know somebody that doesn't, tell them to do it. And if they give you a volley of abuse, John will send them a voucher for you. I will send them a lot of vouchers because I have. <laughs> I've got to say, everyone. I have got a real passion for sending vouchers to people. <laughs> I love telling people to get down the stairs. And you know what? Snow on your windscreen. Not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you a t-shirt with not on my watch printed on it. Though. <laughs> this is current new favourite slogan. Uh, it's going to be the theme of the show, I think. <laughs> I mean, you say it's his new favourite slogan. He's been using it for the last, what, two days? Yeah, but he uses it a lot. So, mm. yeah. And you allow it to happen as well, so you must obviously love it. Catchphrases are cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to make a point about snow on cars, so yeah, do whatever you want, John. Not on my watch. <laughs> 
so the time has finally arrived. We're into 2019, which means we're at the knockout phase of the Champions League of Crisps. These are the crisps. So, <laughs> we're going to uh, find out who is the European champion of crisps that may also be champion in other parts of the world by knockout process. <laughs> and the first one-on-one contest here is Hula Hoops versus Pom Bears. What do we think? 30 seconds to find it out. Go. <laughs> Hula Hoops for me. I mean, why would you want? Why would you want something that's shaped like an animal? Because you can that bite their seems... fucking heads off. Yeah, yeah, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> other than for violence. So, the trouble is for hula hoops is they're quite loud. So when I eat them in the office, people get annoyed. They, yeah, they so cause sometimes earthquakes eat them for that Indonesia. purpose. <laughs> Just to annoy people. Uh, so hula I hoops can be good for offending people. Hula hoops beefy is possibly one of the strongest crisps in the competition. Yeah, that doesn't count. Anyway, time up. Thirty seconds. Right, where's your vote? <laughs> oh, this is a really good segment. Marvellous. Yeah. I like this format. Hula yeah. Hoops for me. So quick. Ben, what's your vote? Yeah, Hula Hoops. I'm going to go three for Hula Hoops as well. Ooh. Hula Hoops. You're Big through the next nil. round. You're going to camp. You're going to go and sing with that person who's famous. Woo. Okay. Um, the next one, <laughs> uh, the next competition is between Kettle Chips and Quavers. Ooh. Three, two, one. Debate. Well, I mean, I, King. I don't think you can look past kettle chips, to be honest. They're, uh, They're a great. They've got crisp, a fantastic crunch to them. Yeah. Uh, they have a variety of high quality flavours. While just everyone's right. got a soft spot for quavers. No, they haven't. Well, they're just quavers. Yeah, I'm crossing the quavers off already. I think they're um, low calorie, maybe. I don't Fuck know. off, Ben. Jeez. It's the, cl- it's the time <laughs> up yet, Ben. It's the time up. Do your job. Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, kettle chips, it is. Right, yeah. <laughs> the uh, the next. Not argue. This is just the way they came out in the draw, so you know what? If you don't like it, go and listen to another podcast that talks about crisps in a Champions League. No, kind of don't listen to another podcast. <laughs> anyway, the next competition is is a bit of a local derby between Standard Walkers Crisps of Belgium and <laughs> Walkers Max. Hit the clock, Ben. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, go. <laughs> Walkers Max is like Walkers, but a hundred times better. Are they ridged? They are ridged for extra flavouring, yep, and they're yeah. better quality, and mm. they're not too crunchy, and you don't get the shit ones like you do in the Walker's bag, you only get good crisps in there. So I'm, I'm aren't they wait. just pretending to be McCoy's? No. But there's a wider McCoy's range are... of flavours in the standard. Yeah, but Walker's Max is better. Is it though? Yes. Time up. Walker's Max. I can't okay, remember standard. the last time I had a Walker's Max bag. I wish you hadn't said that, Ben. <laughs> I feel uh, like Walker's Max deserve to go through. Yes, they do. And that's why they are going through. So, Congratulations. Against my better yeah. judgment, I'm going to I'm going to go with John. What? What's I'm wrong with you. I'm sorry, Ben. Yeah. I would I would pick the standard, but Suck it, I do ben. I do like a packet of Max. So <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Walker's Max 1 2 1. With a uh, late comeback in the second half, so there we go. Two one away as well. Oof, was, what a result! Yeah. yeah, fuck off, Ben. Right, <laughs> two one at the Walkers <laughs> Bernabeu. I wouldn't buy either. To be fair, Walkers are boring. The the next showdown is between Pringles and the Invaders of Space. <laughs> what have you got? Invaders versus Pringles. That is <laughs> right. Go. This is a David and Goliath clash, and this is I like think... meat versus veganism, isn't it? Oh my God, ten Peter back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Space Against Invaders. Two pounds. Are Space Invaders the ones that you said are still made out of um, with MSG, Ben? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know. They might be, but it was well, some that I was talking about before. Oh, okay. But either way, they're just fluffy. Surely you've got to. This. Surely you've got to go for Pringles. Like, the, there's nothing that would make you pick Space Invaders. In America, you can get cheeseburger Pringles. What you know? What more is there to say? That's nothing, crazy. in fact, because time is up. <laughs> <laughs> Not a word from John in there. Fantastic. <laughs> ten p a bag. <laughs> ten p a bag. Are they still ten p a pack though for Space Invaders? Because you know, I'm looking at something that says now twenty p. Oh, oh fuck off! It's nothing to them. <laughs> Just fuck off, King. You have to ruin everything, don't you? Oh no, you so, can get you can get a pack of ten from Tesco for a pound, so that will be ten p a bag. Yeah, fuck you, King. But I think if you were buying them individually, I think they're twenty p now. You're you're an evil man, King. 
Uh, who, are you, who are you voting for then? Pringles or Space Invaders? Pringles for me. Obvious Pringles. Right, Pringles it is. Oof. 3 0. Yep, 3 0. Oh, this is a good one there this time. This is a very, very good one. This is a hot clash right here. This is Walker's Sensations. Ooh, so sensation against the Roysters <laughs> of probably the North. Three to one, go. Uh, not from the North. Roysters are actually owned by KP. Fun fact for you there, John. Are they from um, Leicester? No, KP, not Walkers. I think they're You've from wasted Leicester, ten seconds just saying where they're from. Slough. Uh, Roysters are beefy. They're from Slough. That's near Leicester. And sensations are sensational. They are very flavoursome. Sensations have a range of flavours, and I feel that because I didn't crisps, go with the standard just, walkers, I'm going to have to bash the shape. sensations in this one. Yeah, and Royce has got MSG in them, which is just lazy. Well, I don't know so, if it still uh, does, but you know they're just uh, peculiar. You slanderous little weed, Ben. Um, <laughs> Royce's <laughs> Royce don't have anything wrong with them. I'm voting for Royce's. Fuck you, just for that. <laughs> I'm not getting sensations. I had some earlier on. They were very delicious. Yeah, oh, sensations would, for me, John. You? Sorry. The most the most middle class crisp in the competition is <laughs> through to the next round. I, I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> right. Crisps come in a middle class variety, to be honest with you. <laughs> the next one is an absolute horrender game. It's <laughs> <laughs> this one was, is not on TV. This one's... Uh, <laughs> you can this just is, hear the... Yeah, this is the one that's the only available through the red button. Behind closed doors, it's Skips versus Brannigans. Go. I don't know what Brannigans are. That's where I'm going to start. Hell, with. Well, you and skips you, are horrible. Cultural so. void. You absolute <laughs> cultural void. How can you not know what Brannigans is? Fabulous crisps. Um, Fabulous uh, uh, crisps, Ben. Are they northern? I don't know, to be honest. But no, they're, also, they're also made by KP. Fun fact. Fun I've had, King. I've had them you? for years. Are they near Leicester, King? <laughs> Slough, I think. That's near Leicester. Mm. Um, as for skips, well, they're prawn cocktail flavour, aren't they? Yeah, awful. I would go as far as say skips Shut are up. like a. Stop talking. So, um, <laughs> Brannigans, Brannigans by default, yeah? Brannigans for me. I mean, I'm going to go for Brannigans because of my dislike for skips. So, uh, there we go. Oh, look, Ben doesn't like something. Bloody hell. And the next contest is between the French Fries and the Doritos of Doritoville. What have we got? Go. This is a tough one. Doritos are lovely, but French Fries are just a bit different. It's a bit quirky. They are very so, different, uh, aren't they? And I don't know. King, have you got nothing to say about these? Uh, I'm a Doritos man through and through in this one. Yeah. Yeah, no, no doubt. Taggy cheese, chilli heat wave... Hit me up, I love a Dorito. Yeah, you know what, I think King's Passion has won me over there, Ben. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I was given, handed, you know, two, one of each, I'd probably... Is the time it. up yet, Ben? Ah, oh, it's just time <laughs> up. I can't, I can't yeah, finish Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that that's what I thought. And French fries are out of the competition, losing 9-0 to Doritos. <laughs> yeah. nah, so be, the uh, next and final game of the opening round is between McCoys and real crisps. Not imaginary ones, real ones. Go. Real crisps are by far and away the most potently flavoured crisps that I have ever eaten. Oh my god, King, have you never had a piss soaked crisp? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, and I do favorite. like McCoys. I will what say about really salted ones. Are they, I do are like they McCoys as well. Yes, yeah, they, are, they are well salted. Are they? Every one of their flavours is well thought out and you can you can taste every little bit. And that's I'm why like I'm McCoys. backing real crisps on this one. McCoys are awful crisps. I'm going real crisps Time. as well. Okay. Yeah, you're telling me a vote before, you know, time, but you know. Because McCoy's a shit, that's fine. Why. Well, I like go McCoy's. McCoy's. I like McCoy's, so I'm going to. But know, unfortunately, it two, yeah, one. it's but real crisps. The away win. Two. There you go, John. So the crisps that have made it through are Hula Hoops, Kettle Chips, Walker's Max, Pringles, Walker's Sensations, Brannigans, Doritos, and Real Crisps. Fun fact for you, John. Yeah. Brannigans is a. Uh, just a fancy McCoy's. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Not on my watch, hey, Johnny? Not on my watch, King! <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Ben. You're welcome. Guys, I know you got very excited about the quiz I did last time. Yeah, it was alright. It was of stuff. It was shit, and, Ben. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't. You got well excited about that. So I've done you another one, because I'm nice. And uh, same sort of idea. Higher or lower quiz. It's going to be car themed again. This time, it's going to be classic cars sold at auction. 
Oh, Christ. And, and because you guys are big fans of and have been to see them before, the it's a Koi's auction. And Ooh. this is... Hi, Koi's! Love you! The, uh, actually, I'm not sure of a specific date, but in July 2017 <laughs> at Blenheim Palace. Okay. Been there. Have you? Oh, yeah, you yep. have. Yep. What's it like, John? Really big. Nice. Yeah. Moving on. I have as well, but I didn't think you'd have gone because you know you're not a cultural kind of guy like I am. <laughs> oh, oh, he stung you there, John. Oh, that, that one hurt. I bet it did. That one actually hurt. <sighs> Kick him in the balls. I've got no riposte to that, Ben. Oh, riposte, uh, good well, word. But I won't, let, I won't let it happen again, though, Ben. I won't let it happen again. <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to start with a round number so that you can uh, go higher or lower from this one. So the first first Ten. amount is is. All right, ten. <laughs> ten uh, pounds is, uh, is fifty thousand pounds. All right. So you're so, giving us each fifty thousand pounds to spend. Yep. Marvelous. And so higher or lower for the first car from fifty thousand pounds? I'd love right. to go to Argos for fifty. All I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the car, <laughs> the year, and a couple of tiny little bits of information, because they don't give you that much information on their listings. So, uh, so don't ask questions because it'll be annoying. So the first one is a 1996. Ferrari 355 Spider. It's a three and a half litre V8. It's only had two previous owners and it only done 38,000 miles. Ooh. Higher or lower than 50,000 pounds. Ben, you're a dirty slug, so I reckon this one's about 55 grand and you've just put <laughs> your opening bid thing in there just to, just to bugger us all up. Uh, I'm going to go lower. So you're going lower than 50,000? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go higher, purely on John's logic there. So, okay, Kitty, you are right. It is higher than fifty thousand pounds. So that's one point to you. And are you going to guess at the uh, cost of that or what it sold for? Fifty-one thousand. <laughs> fifty-five thousand, like John said. <laughs> Kitty, you are closest. It was fifty-four thousand. <laughs> you're, you're one grand out, Johnny. Basically, what I've done there is predicted exactly what Ben's done and still got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. You got to stick so to your guns, uh, John. Go so what I'm doing here, guys, scoring-wise, is you get a point for getting it right, whether you're higher or lower, and then you get a point for being closest. I'll give you a bonus point if you get it bang on the money, which you very nearly did, King, but you didn't. So that's just two <laughs> points to you. Thanks. Cool. So 54 grand. Next one, higher or lower. It's a 1974 Aston Martin V8 saloon. One of only 967 examples built between 1973 and 1978. It's the original 310 horsepower V8. And automatic gearbox. What car did you say it was again, Ben? 1974 Aston Martin V8. You've driven one of them. Maybe it's this one that you've driven, John. Is it blue? I don't have a picture in front of me. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm going to say this is the one I drove, and I think I know how much it costs, and I'm going to go higher. Ooh, I'm I'm going to go higher than... What was it? it 54, was bl- wasn't it? It was blue, actually, Johnny, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I think I've written Could... a review on that. Have you? Shit, I should remember that. Right, so what did I say it co- uh, the previous one was? 54. So you're going higher or lower, sorry? Higher. We, higher. we both, both said higher, Ben. Both higher. Okay, it was yeah, higher ben. than 54 grand, so you get a point each for that. And are you can tell me how much it sold for then? £82,500. King? Uh, Hurry up, King. Sorry. Ruining uh, the podcast. Seven, 70 grand. It was 60,000. 60,021, actually, apparently. So, King, you get another point there. So, um, Johnny, you dro- may have drove it, but... Uh, Where's the 21 come from? I don't oh, you always say to add on the random number, John. Oh, yeah, good point. Mm, bizarre. There you go. So, anyway, so, Kingy, you've got four points. Johnny, you've only got one, so we're only two in, and you're already failing. That's I don't funny. care, Ben. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, see if you can get this one, then. This is a a 1976 Porsche 911 Turbo 3-litre. Uh, it's got a 3-litre RSR engine, 260 brake horsepower. It has been... Restored several years ago, apparently, and his engine has been rebuilt during this restoration. Gamble! <laughs> higher. So, higher oh. or lower than 60,000? Mm. Mm. Gamble King. 100 grand. <laughs> higher. 100 yeah, grand. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Lower? Uh, no, it was higher. It was 100. Oh, well, you can fuck off then, Ben. How about that? It was how much? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We got to ask you how much you were going to go for. How much is it then, guys? I told, you that, right? I told you it was 100 pounds. Ah, oh, boo! <laughs> how much did you say, King? Uh, well, I said 100 grand, didn't I? I made my I made my statement quite clear. <laughs> yeah, he said 100 grand. 
Uh, John said uh, John said fifty thousand pounds. <laughs> it was one hundred and forty six thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. So uh, you both I knew said, that. Actually, King, you said higher, and Johnny said lower. Johnny said lower, yeah. I yeah, definitely so said higher. I'll give Johnny a point for saying for getting it close, even though I basically told him most of the numbers. No, you didn't. <laughs> cool. I guess that. So one hundred and forty six thousand two hundred and fifty. Next car, higher or lower? This is a two thousand and five Aston Martin Vanquish <laughs> S. 460 brake horsepower, Aston Martin V12, six-speed manual. What year? Controlled by an electro-hydraulic paddle, apparently. 2003. Shift, obviously. And it's done 20,000 miles. 2005, it was. Oh, okay. So higher or lower than 146,000. Lower. Yeah, I reckon lower. Nope, it was higher. Oh, fuck off, then. <laughs> You're making this up, aren't you? So oh, what, what was the previous one? 146? 146. And it's higher. 100 and... 50. Johnny? 146,500 pounds and 12 <laughs> pence. Oh, it was 162. So, uh. So I was closest. Up. Yep. Well done. <laughs> Johnny, at the moment it's 6 2 to Kingy. So, well, uh, no one cares about what Kingy gets. They all care about what I score. So. Yeah, but if you don't right. score highest, then surely people will start caring about what I get and not what you get. I don't think that's how it works. Well, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so 162,000 for the Aston Martin. The next car is a 1962 Jaguar E-Type Roadster. 3.8 litre, 265 brake horsepower. Actually, they said claimed 265 brake horsepower, so uh, obviously they weren't sure about that. And it's been owned by only one family in its history, and they lived in New York. Is it the Ooh. royal family? Uh, <laughs> no. What do we reckon? Higher or lower than 162 grand? Which family owned it, then? A family. Just some guys who lived in New York, right? I don't... How old? 1962. I think it was the royal family king, so I'm going to go <laughs> higher. <laughs> Did they live in... Uh... They've lived in New York since the 60s, yeah, apparently. Yep. <laughs> According to uh, Johnny's history. The new build in York, yep. Yeah, it's got to be higher, surely. This is like properly early E-type. Yeah, and the fact the royal family owned it, Ben. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may have get a point. It was indeed higher. Are you going to guess how much it's worth? Hundred and eighty five thousand pounds and wait for it. Twelve pence. <laughs> uh oh, two hundred grand. It is hundred and ninety one two fifty. So Johnny is closer. Yeah, suck it, King. Get Hello, downstairs. <laughs> Fuck off. Right. Next car. I think this one might be easier. <laughs> You know, I said the other day that this sec- this podcast was going to be silly because we haven't done one for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's just got out of control, this podcast. <laughs> Sorry, so, I'm so disruptive. John, I'm, I'm going to help you out here, John. <laughs> yeah, is it lower? No, no, I'm going to help you out because right. Ben just said this one's going to be easy. So I reckon that means that that E-Type was probably the most expensive car in the whole auction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ben's bottled it again, hasn't he? Sorry, Everyone carry laugh on, at ben. ben. Guys, I've made this... More fun for you. Yeah, we're having fun. Taking the piss yeah, out of ben. you. So, uh, Stop spoiling it, Ben. <laughs> so I'm not giving you a clue as to what the next one's going to cost. So this is higher or lower than £191,250. Is a 1965 Ford Mustang GT 289 V8. It came with the optional pony seats. Apparently they're very desirable. So oh, for thing. horses. Yeah. And this was <laughs> the. this one was made in the first year of production. I mean, it's still going to be less than 190 grand, so... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Was this one owned by the royal family, Ben? <laughs> it wasn't specific, so let's say there's a good chance, yeah. Okay, could higher. Have, could have been. Lower. <laughs> Johnny, is that your final answer? Yep, £455,000. And, wait for it... <laughs> wait for it... 13 pence. Cool. So, King you might, you know... Johnny's getting upset because he's not very good at this. And he's, trying to th- <laughs> and he's trying to throw it. I'm tempted to give him a point anyway. Yep. Um, so, so, uh, so we know it's lower. So it's definitely lower. Right, like okay. And, and you're yeah. sticking with that, that that guess of money then, John? Yep. <laughs> Come on, John. Try it. Be serious. 60 grand? 60 grand. Can I change Johnny? my answer? Yeah, of yeah. course you can. 455. <laughs> no, I'll go um, £81,000... Plus um VAT. couple of miles miles. <laughs> Ooh. You guys are way out. Why? It went f- it went for eighteen thousand. 
Yeah, that's what I said, 81,000. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, you got the numbers the, right, the wrong way around. But <laughs> yeah, Ben, I just there. Felt, you, if you read it, Ben, I just made a typo. <laughs> <laughs> Two points, please. Uh, so, um, <laughs> yeah, jo- uh, Rob wins that then. Yay! Why? Why? 60, 60 or 1,000, you say? I don't know, because I'm that. taking it vaguely seriously. <laughs> God's yeah. sake. King doesn't know his classic cars, though, don't you, King? Such a spoil sport. Well, no, it's all, it's all guesswork, Ben. King, I was trying to help you out there. Oh, yeah, saying... yeah, yeah, no, I know all about this stuff. Yeah, yeah mate. Well done, geezer. So, I've given you a point, I think. Yeah. It doesn't really matter at this stage. <laughs> I think it's down four. So, 18,000. Is there 100 questions left? Uh, a few. About a few hundred? Think. Oh, Christ. I'm going to make a comeback now. <laughs> right, next car. 1978 Mercedes-Benz 450 SLC. It's done 50,000 miles from new, but apparently only 15... Thousand, sorry, fifty from new, and only fifteen thousand since it was purchased by its current owner in nineteen eighty-two, and it has always been stored in a climate-controlled garage. Higher, my garage is also controlled by the climate. <laughs> what you mean? It gets cold when it's uh, cold outside. Exactly. So, higher or lower than eighteen thousand? Oh, that's a tough. What what model 19, was it again, Ben? Nineteen seventy-eight Mercedes Benz four hundred and fifty SLC. A four hundred and fifty SLC. Yeah. 18,000, higher or lower? A 450 SL... I can't even remember what a 450 SL is, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go I'm gonna go lower, because you're not answering your phone. <laughs> Why are you trying to ring me? <laughs> you're trying to cheat, John? No. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> it was indeed lower. Yeah, fuck you, King. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, King. I call for a judge's decision on this. Yeah, John's I've trying to cheat. for you right here, King. <laughs> uh, but I didn't, I didn't let him cheat so uh, you know he's actually thanks forwarded. Ben he's only four points behind now I'm glad okay, that you um, respect the integrity of the quiz Ben Ben, yeah, ben to be told honest, me as it's, ben told as it's me. Johnny I thought that he just accidentally called me so <laughs> <laughs> alright then so 18,000 you've gone for lower it is lower what do you think it's cost 15,122 pounds and nothing else okay. 10 grand <laughs> it was actually 11,250 so, oh, yeah! Fuck you, King. King. fuck you, Johnny! Fuck you, King! Fuck you, Johnny! More often than not, Johnny, with you picking your round numbers, I'm just going to go for whatever King says because it makes it easier for the maths if you keep that round numbers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I just get confused. For fuck's um, sake. I'm just going to gift it to him. Ruining uh, it, Ben. Cool, so. Just give me points. 11,250. Next car, higher level. 1971 Lotus Alan S4. This apparently, oddly, is was taken off the road for 38 years to be restored, but it was finally actually restored in 2012. Well, like King's so, Old Alpha. Uh, <laughs> said to be in excellent condition, but... It's still on you know, the road! The <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I think it's higher. Yeah, it's got, higher than 11, it's got to be higher than 11, 11 and a bit, surely. Yeah, it's got to be higher than that, Ben. Come on. It is indeed. So, how much higher? 20k round number for you, Ben. How about that? Oh, thank, thanks, Johnny. Thanks. 20k. 25k. Yeah. Fuck off. Well done, King. <laughs> <laughs> How much was it? It was 33,750. Oh, that's quite a lot. Yeah, I thought so. It's far too expensive. Shit car. You'll like this one, guys. A 1956 Fiat Multipler 600, which was the first series, apparently. Well, the only information that I could be able to take from it because it was boring was that it underwent a labour of love restoration in 2016 1956 Fiat Multipla it's a fantastic car to look at it's ridiculous what do you reckon higher or lower than 33,750 lower can you tell us how much they spent on it no mm. stop trying to cheat King you're always trying to bring the game into disrepute yeah surely it's lower <laughs> it was lower how much lower six grand lower Oh, that's more confusing than I could do. <laughs> right, you reckon six grand lower than that, King? Well, can you give me a round number rather than tell me how many lower it is? Twenty grand. You reckon twenty grand? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Oh, it doesn't mistake. make it easier, then, does it? No. <laughs> All right, how many grand lower, King? <laughs> well, you went thirteen grand lower, didn't you? Thirteen seven fifty. Twenty grand. It was twenty four seven fifty. Yeah. Right, Johnny. Did I give you points a minute ago for? Getting higher there. I can't remember. Ben, you know you said you'd give me ten points for every correct answer I got. No. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what though, this next one, I'll make it a bit easier for you. I'm gonna get let you have two bonus points if you can beat Kingy on this one, Johnny. 
Will that make the scores level? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, tremendous, then, brilliant. Ben. Not, not unless you get it right and King doesn't, and then you get it bang on, bang on the money. Then you could win if you get two, if you get bonus points for every correct answer. Anyway, how many are left? <laughs> uh, this, there's one more, and I did a bonus round just in case it was close, which right, it obviously okay. isn't. Johnny, stop trying to call me. John, I can hear, I can hear Ben's phone <laughs> vibrating <laughs> through the Skype. Yeah. <laughs> right, higher or lower than a Fiat multiplier? Nineteen twenty-six. Bugatti Type 37. I'm not going to give you any more information than that. Coys didn't sell that, did they? Apparently they did. A Bugatti Type 37? I don't remember ever seeing that. I, I still get that. I still isn't, get their catalogues. Isn't that the one that was at the, the auction that we went to? Isn't that the one Mussolini was killed in? Higher than whatever it was before. <laughs> 24 grand. Yes, I think that's pretty a safe bet. Johnny, are you going higher as well? Yeah, may as well. <laughs> You're both right. It is higher, so you're five points behind, Johnny. That's great. Actually, I'm going to give you that bonus point, wasn't I? So there you go. You're four points behind now because you got it right. So if you can guess it within ten grand, <laughs> I'll give you a bonus point, Johnny. Um, so how much is it? Oh, within ten grand. That suggests it's fairly big money. No, Johnny gets a bonus point if it's within ten grand, but still, who gets closest? Yeah, King. Point. Oh, okay. I see. Well, that seems reasonable. I'm just like, overcomplicating it so we can't argue later. Because <laughs> if none of us know what else is going on, a lot. Could I say a lot? <laughs> a lot. It's, it's, qu- it's not quite specific enough for my, my yeah. scoring system. It's all relative, isn't it? Really. So a lot. Of course, to it's you, a lot, be... King. It was sold in an auction, the weeb. Uh, but um, you can have a bonus point for a good pun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boo. In your face, King. Now, Johnny. Hang in on. Your face. Hang That's on. A hot sizzler, right there. Ben, you said a bonus point for a good pun. I thought that was a good pun. Go fuck yourself, John. (laughs) 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 Hurry up, King Christ. I reckon it's over half a million. Okay. 600k? No, maybe seven. Final answer, please, King. Johnny, I want an answer as well. 600k. 600k for Kingy. Johnny? 1 million, 350,000 pounds, and 10 grand. (laughs) Can I change mine to 700k? You can if you like. You're right. Or you're closest either way. It was oh, so it's 600, between. 641,250. That's a lot of money. That is a lot. Yeah. 641 grand. Someone paid for that. 250. I like the way it went to 250. Like someone went 641 and 100 and someone went 250 and they went, no, I'm done now. I'm done <laughs> at that amount. That 600, 642? No. <laughs> What's yeah, the bonus question that's going to let me tie level at the end? So... How close King are the scores? Got, so Kingy's got 15 and Johnny's got 11. 19. Oh. So for five points... Don't worry, John. Round, so I'll you, audit those when I uh, do the editing. It's, it's there <laughs> thereabouts. I'm winning! Um, <laughs> yeah, so Johnny, if you get you get five points in the bonus round. Cool. So, um, Both of us or just John? I mean, it doesn't really matter. No. If you get a point. <laughs> if you get the point, King, you'll win, so it's fine. Should we just say, I'm just going to say whoever gets closest rather than go higher or lower on this one right only, only like that is points in it is that because this is that was the most uh, expensive lot in the auction oh yeah yeah there's, there's, there's not one well I didn't look at all to be honest with you but this one I thought sh- you should win easily easy peasy King because this uh, uh, it's going to be an alpha <laughs> alpha Romeo <laughs> Julia GTC so that's a coupe yeah King so this particular example it said it says it was presented in white with a grey interior there's a rare right-hand drive example where only 99 were ever built. How much is it worth? Closest gets five points. You can do this, Johnny. Come on, me. Can't let King win this quiz. Not on my watch. 75 grand. 75 grand. Johnny, five points if you get this right. And you will win. 75k. 85k. 85? Yep. It was now. I think it might be more. <laughs> it was eighty-one thousand. Yeah, five points to Johnny, which makes him win yes. by one point. Well, I knew I wouldn't let King win. Well I had played, this in John. the bag all along. Thanks well very much, played, King. John. I've absolutely nailed this quiz as usual. Well, it's how no lucky, surprise. How lucky were you that the uh, that the bonus round had five points? That's just uh, you know. How lucky were it? you that I stopped myself from saying eighty grand? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh. So uh, essentially, Rob won, but Johnny's 
clawed it back from uh, What was the cheating. scores in the end? 16-15. Cool. To me? Yeah. Yes. Apparently so. Good stuff. Oh, I, I love it when I win quizzes. So do I, John. It brings me great joy, because otherwise hey. you can be a fucking miserable <laughs> <laughs> Hey, King. How does it feel to be on the losing end once again? Well, no different King. to normal, so, you know... <laughs> I don't. I don't really understand what point you're trying to make, John. Uh, Feels just like any other day of my life. <laughs> Hooray! <fucking> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh Christ. Right. Well. Um, yep. Next segment. Woo! Uh, do you know what's Do you know what's funny, King? You didn't even cheat because I actually I actually sent him the link to the uh, alpha right at the end there. And he hasn't opened the link, so he didn't know. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> I thought you read it and you were being coy because it, you said 85. And I thought, oh, he's gone just just further away. Well, after that devastating result in the quiz, I'm pleased to announce that I can now bring you a brand new fax straight off the fax hey. machine. Oh, my God, it's so hot and it smells good. What's going on? That's toner, my friend. That's toner. It's also toxic. Yes, yeah. don't get high. So, in a little uh, segment that we like to call You Fax Fax machines are the cockroaches of technology <laughs> Here we go <laughs> That's brilliant oh. So, recently on Twitter we saw a tweet which we don't have the uh, actual reference for so I can't point people to it but somebody somebody posed the question, a toy company makes a replica action figure of your likeness. What two accessories should they include? Well, if it's you, King, it's going to have a packet of crisps and a dildo. <laughs> I was going to say sex toys for King. Totally incorrect, of course. <laughs> totally incorrect. Yeah, one, of my accessories will obviously, one of my accessories will obviously be a bill from a local garage for work on the Mito. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And another will be an empty packet of donuts. I like that, King. I like that. Sums me up in two items. Poor feel... and fat. <laughs> I, I thought whore you were going to say. I mean, that's also true with the sex toys. Yeah, you dirty bitch, King. Um... Dirty bitch. <laughs> ben won't I, get that cultural I void. don't think that's action <laughs> figure enough. I would like a top hat with a rotating bottom part. <laughs> Is this still for me? <laughs> <laughs> Shooting out. Why am I wearing tons of words? <laughs> and I would also like a lasso, a spud gun, <laughs> lasso. <laughs> oh, he thinks himself as Catwoman. <laughs> what? Yeah, I could be. I've got the figure. <laughs> so you've got a top hat <laughs> with a rotating base. Yeah. And a spud gun. Yep. What, what's with the top hat? It just looks cool, doesn't it? Especially if the bottom part rotates. I think that... <laughs> but is it is it like patterned or something? Because if it was just like plain black, you might not even see it move. No, it's just. Uh, well, I know, but I'm... you'd know it's an accessory, Ben. So you'd have to put it on him, and then you'd go, "Ooh, look!" It probably slots into his head somehow, so that it can yeah. then spin. I'd also, is that because um, it's battery powered or is it why Yeah, not? yeah, there'd be a battery up his ass so that yeah, uh, okay, you can yeah. get yeah. the satisfaction of... Uh, a really big one as well. Of really shoving something <laughs> right up his ass. Like, like yeah. a C battery. <laughs> a D. Yeah, it's got to go in sideways as well. Oh, C. 9 volt, there we go. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's almost like having three accessories then, isn't it? Yeah. Like sex toy, hat and spud gun. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Ben? Um, Ben's would just it wouldn't wouldn't be a wouldn't be an action figure. Just ben be a... Ben would have a mask. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a plain white mask. A <laughs> plain <Off> face. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and my wife's car. So. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll say it so you don't no, have to. don't be silly, Ben. A train ticket. Yeah, train ticket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Think the of the fun that you can have face. with the new Ben Lazarus Pierce toy. <laughs> Have you ever seen a picture of Slenderman? Oh, I'm going Slenderman? to get the train today. <laughs> Sorry, John? Is there a figurine of Slenderman out yet? <laughs> probably. <laughs> because, um... I, I mean, I'd probably say that that's... That I wouldn't describe Ben as looking like Slenderman. 
Yeah, because he wears a suit, he's got no face. Slenderman's far too defined. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is a good op- this is a good opportunity to teach Ben about culture. I take it you're not familiar with Slenderman. No. Well. Where have you been, Ben? <laughs> oh, like this is just everyday stuff. From what? Oh. TV, film, music. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I can Where's... tell you where I've been if you tell me roughly where Slenderman comes from. Slenderman. Slenderman started as an internet meme, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ben. And he's a. Mm. I don't really know how to describe him. You say he's supernatural. Yeah, he's a, he's a supernatural kind of modern legend, and it's a man in a suit with no face. Who... He's a fe- he, featureless. He I was a meme. Was yeah, yeah, it was a meme back in late two thousands. Really. I don't remember seeing that. Obviously, if you've Googled it, you'd probably want to ignore the film that came out last year. Yeah, because you want to look at actual mean. Slender Man. Yeah. Have you Have you seen the film, Ben? Uh, King. No. Oh, no. I've not seen the film. No. You? No. No, I don't like scary like, films. I do. Like looking into a mirror. Exactly. That's Slender Man that's... can't look in the mirror. <laughs> probably. I that's don't interesting, know. Interesting because I don't think I've ever seen that. Crazy. I'm usually up on my memes. <laughs> well, sure you are. <laughs> I'm familiar with lolcats <laughs> and other modern memes. Oh, well, you wait until I show you keyboard cat, my friend. You what? Your head is going to explode. I fucking love keyboard cat. I saw a ceiling cat yesterday. Oof. That's the future. What? <laughs> a ceiling cat? Yeah, I've seen ceiling cat. I think he's talking about spider pig. That's, that's a... I've got so many questions now. What? Why was a cat on your ceiling, Ben? Have you not seen ceiling cat, honestly? I don't know what ceiling cat is. No. Uh, you're winding me up now. No, I have no idea what a ceiling cat is. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Is it, is it a poo you throw on the roof or something? It's a, it's a cat that pokes his head up the ceiling. <laughs> I've seen ceiling cat before. I like that. I want oh, one as well. One. Can I have one? It's like, it's got to be quite a 90s, uh, no, not 90s, early noughties. Uh, ceiling cat is 2006, apparently. Oh, slightly so slightly before... I would say slightly before Slender Man. God, this Probably. segment's dry. <laughs> oh, Looking anyway, why, why, were, when why, memes came out. why were we comparing Ben to Slender Man? Oh, because he'll no be features. a yeah, and he'll be a terrible, uh, terrible children's toy. Yep, and he's got uh, and he wears a suit and um, I that. used to be popular, but he isn't now. And uh, <laughs> uh, that's half true. <laughs> that was a bit below the belt, but. No, it was half true. He was never popular. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good point. Good point. If anything, you've been harsh on uh, Slender Man. Just for a suit, though. So fine, man. So yeah, so there you go. So King, you're having a sex toy. Johnny, I don't know. Ginger hair. Is that your thing? It's not an we accessory. Should have, we should have <laughs> chosen each other's. Yeah, we should have done. That would have been that would have been much better. Yeah. I mean, Ben, you would have got the same result, but you know. <laughs> I was going to say, you chose mine for me anyway. Yeah. Maybe if there's anyone listening to the podcast, and it's extremely doubtful, they can tell us, using the internet, what they think our accessories should be for our action figures. And you know what? If they're really good, maybe we'll make the action figures. Or we'll just maybe Photoshop it. But... Well, no, we'll get them you... 3D printed. Come on, Ben. Where's your sense of yeah. adventure? Yeah, Ben, where's your adventure hat? <laughs> he doesn't have one. <laughs> This figure doesn't come with an adventure hat. Oh, yeah, good point. Johnny, would you consider switching your spud gun, because I've no idea why you've chosen a spud gun, for a set of stairs? Ooh. Tempting. Or some vouchers, actually. You could have had some vouchers and some stairs. There's your two. Um, yeah, go on then. Actually, well, yeah, go on then. I would also like the spud gun to be available by ordering in a magazine, though. Where you cut out the uh, order form from the magazine, <laughs> basically like it away in the post. Old school DLC. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if you really love your Johnny action figure, and I'm sure people will, they can send off for additional accessories like a spud gun and other random things like a like a fishing rod. So, this, uh, how much do you want them to love you as an action figure? Are you inflatable? Or, <laughs> I mean, I, I'd be flattered. Then I, I would actually be flattered by that. So, yeah, go on then. I'll be inflatable. Smashing. You can get the first delivery, Ben. <laughs> well, that brings to an end another completely awful episode of Smooth Traffic. We hope you've had a terrible, terrible time. Because we definitely haven't. We love it when it's this bad. Anyway. <laughs> um, 
Uh, what is it we normally say? Yeah, subscribe if you like, I suppose. Uh, otherwise, we'll just see you next time. So, uh, yeah, bye. <laughs> and check bye. out YouTube, because we put a video up. Bye. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> that was inspiring. <laughs> the rally cry from King. Go to YouTube. <laughs> oh, unlucky King. Bye-bye.